Hi there, this is Billy. Today I want to show you how I rebuilt my antique radio into a crystal radio that have AM, shortwave, and FM. I also added a meter and also a speaker along the way. My crystal radio is driven by two coils. The white one horizontally on the top is the one for AM radio. The one hang vertically on the side is a copper loop antenna that works for the subwave. This is the circuit diagram. I am using 3DQ MOSFET here, but uh, you can replace it with a diode if you like. So on the top is the FM circuit, where you have a conventional 3DQ FM radio circuit. Uh, the middle one is the short wave circuit. Uh, the bottom one is the AM or MW normal broadcast radio frequency. So you have uh, four rotary switches that I can use to switch from FM subwave to AM. By using the switch S1, which has four terminals, we can switch the output to connect to either the FM, shortwave, and AM. And then on the right, we have a meter. This meter is a 50 microampere meter. To allow it to be used for audio output measurement, we need to connect a 10 microfarad bypass capacitor across the two terminals of the A meter. Otherwise, um, the A meter will introduce a 1k ohm resistance to the output and the audio will be gone. So we need to fit the audio through the bypass capacitor 10 microfarad. I also created an extender, which is a variable resistor connected across the ammeter. So you can extend the range of the ammeter from 50 microampere to 10 times, which is 500 microampere, depending on how you tune the resistor. On the far right, you have the impedance matching transformer called KPB02 is manufactured in China. I will put a link in the description or on my blog where you can buy it. So our output from the MOSFET 3DQ is around 2.5K. So you connect to the 2.5K terminal of the transformer. For the common ground, we connect to the 0 ohm terminal. And for the output, depending on whether you are using a speaker, you connect it to a gun or your headphone. I, my headphone is around 500, 500 ohms, so I connect to the 500 ohm output terminal. Here are some instructions how you can make the coil used by the three different circuits. Or you can refer to my blog for the details. Here is the look of my original radio. I just uh, dismounted all the previous circuit, mounted the FM coil there, and then the rotary switch, the S1, and then the variable capacitor, which is used to drive both the subwave and AM circuit. The first thing we need to do is to add the A meter. So I purchased this A meter from China. Uh, it is positive. 25 microampere to negative 25 microampere. Um, you can tune the center of the microampere using this center screw here. So the, the zero ampere position can be adjusted left or right. Once you are finalized, just stop. Do you know why we use this type of minus 25 
to past 25 micro ampere meter um, is because the 3 dq MOSFET, the output direction the of current flow will change according to different circuit and different frequency. So it's better to have this type of plus or minus uh, micro ampere meters instead of the conventional one that only measure in one direction. Okay, now I'm mounting the capacitor, 10 microfarad, so we can use it to bypass the audio signal and we can still listen to the audio as loud as before we connect the uh, emitter. Next, we are going to extend the range of the emitter to 10 times. We do this by this type of variable resistor. This, this one allows you to fine tune and it's a multi-turn variable resistor. You can turn 10 turns at least. So the position you choose will be holding up much better than the conventional variable resistor. We also need to use a switch to select the range whether we connect this resistor or not. Okay, we finished the soldering. You can see we have connected the capacitor and then we have connected the switches and the variable resistor which allow us to uh, switch to the other side to extend the range to 10 times. Next, we need to calibrate the resistor for the range extension. So we need to first connect a power source. It could be from your 5 volts USB output power. Or you connect one end to a resistor, as you can see in the middle, and the other end through a multimeter to your own meter to be calibrated. So let's make the connection. After that, we will tune the resistor in the middle, uh, that one mega ohm resistor, uh, to a point where the multimeter is showing 250 micro ampere. And then we'll tune our own resistor, the one that is blue that I'm tuning now, to adjust it so it just point at 25, the number 25 which represent 250 microampere as we are extending the range by 10 times. Next, we need to add the speaker. So this is the original speaker I have in the that crystal radio. Uh, it is 10K ohm speaker, commonly used in the old days for the vacuum tube radios because the 10K ohm is high impotence enough to be connected directly to the tube and that's why uh, we got a lot of this type of old speaker from the Chinese shops Taobao I got mine from there so this is a moving iron speaker you can see this needle is the iron being moved by the magnet and the coil and this needle is connected to the cone of the speaker in the middle I find that I need a lot of power to drive this speaker. Uh, the crystal radio's output is insufficient to drive it. So I gave up and need to replace with another speaker. The horn speaker is very fit for crystal radio because it's got some sound amplification and it is uh, easy to drive. Uh, it's 8 ohm, so with a transformer you can drive this horn speaker. Let me introduce you to the KPB-02 impotence matching transformer. So it's purchased from the China Taobao website, but I can give you a link uh, that you can buy from eBay as well. So it's an upgrade from the previous uh, T728 and you can see in the diagram the different color mapping. Red is for the uh, 4 ohm, yellow for 8 ohm, blue for 16 ohm, white for 32 ohm. 
and then you can refer to the chart for different type of impedance. So if you want to use it, connect your common ground to the zero arm on the uh, bottom right, and then connect the output of your crystal radio to the right impedance according to what uh, detector you're using. For 3DQ, we use 2.5K arm. Uh, for the other diode, like um, the 1N34A, we use 10K. For some of the even um, better diodes, like the HSM2H5H0, we use 100K. So depending on what diode you're using, you can connect to the right impedance on the left. And on the right, you can uh, find out the impedance of your headphone or your speaker and just connect one end of it to this impedance matching terminal. The other end of your headphone or speaker you connect to zero arm. So this is how it looks after I set everything up. Uh, this is the transformer. This is the rotary switch. And this is the FM coil and variable capacitor. Okay, now let's start the testing. First, I'll test using the in-house back loop antenna that I hang next to the window. Apology for the noise. The guy upstairs is uh, using a very bad uh, charger that created all this noise in the air. One in Xijiamen and another in Guomao. That's over 500,000 yuan. Almost 80,000 yuan. Listen, does this sound cleaner? Now let's test with the long antenna. I'm using a 15 meter antenna. 是很多動力的動力的。Now let's test with the speaker. I'm using the horn speaker. That's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like my video, remember to click like, subscribe, select the bell and send to your friends to watch too. Thank you. See you next time.